one, I was okay with not doing another one. Do you guys want another one? Are you guys all right? Yeah. 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 Ouch. Ouch. Good thing I left a little bit of earwax in there to buffer the... Uh... So, um, I have a really cool poem that I want to read you guys for women's... In, we call it Women in Creativity Month in Albuquerque, for March Women's History Month. And then I have a rap song. So who wants to hear the the the, the create, women's in creativity poem? It's about Mae Jemison, the first black woman. Yes, yeah! that one. That's what I'm talking about. Where you rap the vote though? <laughs> yeah, you didn't give the oh! that's not fair. Right? I sort of yeah, I sort of loaded the question so that you guys would answer the way I wanted to. It's, it's, I'm an academic researcher, and that's what we do. And, uh, I'm in rap so, talk. Um, this poem is called uh, "Creativity for Mae Jemison." Quote, for some reasons of reason, it is overwhelmingly apparent that the female brain does not rival a man's brain when it comes to math and science, end quote. So she grabbed the telescope to see what kind of God would not make space for her. Ooh. What kind of idiot savants would phrenologize uterus with IQ in a respectable scholarly journal and call himself scientist. An alchemist is much more than a palm full of snake oil, more than scales and skin sails, more than the atheism we cook and crack. In the crosshairs of that scope, she saw pimps standing on the corner of creation and nativity, selling acrylic on canvas, no prints, of Mary and Manger, sky blacker than universe, than womb. In it, stars look like asterisk, like X, X on top of each other, one tick-tock clockwise, 90 degrees. Like, you don't know what time it is, she says, under lap coat collar. Like, impotent men will put their dick in test tubes to try and reproduce the laboratory inside of her. Futile. Those same men, however important, will fit firearms into mouths of mothers on a crusade to barren nations, frustrated that their black magic will never match her birthright. They will say, God made Adam first. She will thank him kindly for the compliment and call herself evolution. Smile and tell them adopt while she adapts. We are in clinical trials trying to reproduce a miracle, she belches. The future of this species rests in an aberration, inconclusive yet well-documented evidence that one of their gender was able to regenerate without the other. She is between Homo habilis and Australopithecus. She is time travel, nine months of present and future at the same time. She is pregnancy without penis. He is penis without progress. He is original man primitive. She is S-class opposable thumb. She has, man, she has made man without man. He has tried to clone her miracle, jealous of how she plays God with herself. One day, he will worship her for the nucleus she is instead of the warfare he wet dreams her to be. Till then, he will dismiss this report, file it away in the annals of science, and tell her this sort of study, this sort of research is heresy. He will unbend his lips and innuendo his brow as he lets her know what is at stake. Shrug it off by trying to defuse a lawsuit with the joke about sausage and how she is missing Link. He is not cute or scientifically correct. He is cocky, not cunning. He is over the line and overconfident. She is overhead and over it. He will discharge one last shot at her sisterhood, laughingly ask her if she thinks she can fly. And she will look him in the eye and say, yes. Now ask me which broomstick to prove it with. Woo!